the fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, Claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Oralu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask, fear the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Ophnir. The all knowing. And one other whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. and become the Elden Lord. Oh god. I'm pressing the wrong buttons already. Well. Here we go. Elden Ring. I'm so excited to play this. I've avoided pretty much everything about the game. I watched the trailers, the official trailers. Um, that's about it. So, I'm going in pretty much as blind as possible. And I'm just trying to figure out the controls at the minute. We have a dedicated jump button, which is nice. I don't know if I can two-hand. 
Okay, blocking parry is still the same. Got a nice little axe. Tarnished wizened finger. Okay, let's figure some infantry stuff out. With the inventory menu, you can browse the items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can also use tools from the inventory menu. Memory of Grace. Lose all runes, return to last site of Lost Grace visited. Okay, so I'm guessing runes are souls or blood echoes. The memory of First Grace which once guided bygone tarnished to the lands between. Lose all runes and return to the last site of grace visited. It is merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring, become the Elden Lord. Item for online play. Used to write messages, okay. A finger of corpse wax, so emaciated the bone is visible. It is a relic of those who came before, left to help those who would come after. Okay. Time for Elden Ring. Oh yes. I'm gonna have to get used to pressing a different button to interact with things. Chapel of Anticipation. The door is blocked shut. Definitely a FromSoft game. I don't like you going indoors easily. Such blood stains, so someone's died here. Necessary item I had. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going down there. It could be something for all I know. But I'm not doing it. Camera controls, yep, I figured that out. I guess I need to make my way to the tree. Right, I'm going to stop reading messages. I want to read some of them though, because they might be developer messages. I don't really want to miss anything. Okay, so sprinting's the same. Is there going to be the usual from soft bus right at the beginning? I'm guessing so. I'm wondering if there's a... Uh, Equip load. Can't really see anything. With the status menu, you can check your level attributes, base stats, and more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing. Oh, equip load. Medium load. Ah, well, I'll stick with the medium load for now. I'm guessing I can roll slightly faster than that. It seems okay for now, though. Now I'm getting some frame drops here and there. No enemies so far. Oh god. Oh god. What the hell are you? Ouch. I've just realised. I have no... Oh my god. I have no healing items. That was some movie you just did. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, new bosses are scary. Oh.
Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Flask of Crimson Tears is our healing item. Flask of Cerulean Tears. Butchered that name. Restores HP, restores FP. A sacred flask modelled after a golden holy chalice that was once graced by a tear of blessing. Filled with Crimson Tears, this flask restores HP with use. Rest at a site of grace to replenish. The one washed up on the gravesite was sure to die until this flask offered its gift of re rejuvenation to seek the Elden Ring. Right. That's our Estus flask. I'm not sure what happened with that bus. So... It was a bit pathetic because I was blocking and obviously he did damage to me through my block, I'm guessing. My shield is not 100% physical reduction. No, it's not. So yeah, that's how it died. It looked pretty pathetic. And then I'm not sure if there was supposed to be a cutscene or something because I have no idea how I ended up here. And there were some noises going on when the screen was black. But yeah. I just appeared here. Without knowing how. And it's very dark here. And I think I have a torch, actually. Uh, no. No, it's not a torch. I did check it out before, and I just completely forgot. Yep, no torch. There's an item up there. I want it. I don't think I can get it yet. So I'm just going to carry on this way. Who are you? Let me talk to you. Oh, I can. Take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Okay, sir. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to trust him. I kinda wanna see if I can open this door but it might go to a cutscene and take me somewhere else so I'm going to take the plunge use items yep okay no fall damage nice oh is this a bad guy Nope. That's another player. Okay. No need to panic. Sights of Grace. 
Resting at a site of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flasks. However, most of the enemies you defeated will be revived. You can find sites of grace by going where light converges. Okay. New bonfire. Lost grace discovered. Do I need to rest her? I'm gonna rest her. Past time. Add charges to flask. Ah, so I can change it from FP to HP. Memorize spells, sword chest. Past time. That's interesting. Oh, this guy's got to be a bad guy. Yep. Right hand and two handed armament. Our first kill. Oh, hello. He's got back up. Use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Garden consumes stamina. I'm gonna try parry him. Oh, we nope, that was bad. Oh, goodbye, sir. You got destroyed. You can avoid enemy attacks with a dodge roll or back step. Both of these actions consume stamina. There must be a way I can two hand. I'm just not sure what it is at the minute. Oh, we've got a guy with a bow. Acquire materials. In every corner of lands between, you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Interesting. Nice. Where is this guy with the bow? It's not him up there. Sounds like he's above me. Okay, this guy's got a big spear and a shield. Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Armaments can also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel the shields and boost an effective strength by 50%. Switch right-hand armament, switch left-hand armament. Y plus LB wield with two hands. Okay. Oh, yep, the guy's above me. Drop the shield, sir. Let's not play this game. Oh god. Okay, he was smart. I broke him. There we go. Get destroyed. Oh, there, there's the archer. Okay. Well, I feel better now. That I know I can two-hand. And I know how to do it. So use her. And get killed. As can you. Oh, I just walked straight into that. Time to die, sir. Oh, he's still alive. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. 
Using skills consumes FP. Left trigger skill. Okay. Oh god. I'm not sure how that effective is, that is because I can't really move when I'm doing it. I'm guessing the longer I hold it, I just keep doing it. Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you. Especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. Okay. Let's try a bit of stealth. I missed. So you can hide in long grass. Let's try it with this guy. Don't turn around. Can he see me at all in the grass? Did I miss anything in here? Don't think so. Can I fit through here? No. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Let's try a jumping attack. Oh, he's not dead. Can you actually swing mid air? It's just when you land. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. So, upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. Right, so you respawn back at the site of grace. If there is a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Interesting. Oh god. First fog wall. Traverse the mist. Soldier of Godric. You can perform counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance. R2 immediately after blocking an attack. Okay, but. I don't really want to get my shield out. Oh, I missed. Oh god, he does a lot of damage. I honestly don't know. I don't know how to get my shield back out. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I don't have 100% physical block. Okay, you drink quite quickly. That's good. Let's have another. Oh, I do a lot of damage. And um, we got the parry. Nice. Oh, get destroyed. Enemy felled. Maybe I should be using a shield. My parry skills are on point. Got multiple ways to go. Which is always a nice thing, but also I get a bit worried that if I go the wrong way, like and it takes me into a cutscene or something. Turns out I don't have two ways to go anyway, so I don't need to worry. Look at all these blood stains. 
No blood stain for me. And I'm back here at this door. Let's go and talk to this guy again. I've taken the plunge. I've already done it, sir. I'm not going down again. Oh god, there's more mist. Touch grace. Okay, let's rest. Use stone wood. S stones ward. Stones word. Stones word? Key. Right, I will do that. That is actually the item I picked. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, so that's basically like a gift in Dark Souls. I didn't... There was a few things there. I obviously don't know what a lot of them mean or what they give you. So I just picked this at random. Used to break one imp statue seal. A sword-shaped stone key breaks the seal on imp statues but remains embedded in the statue after use, meaning it can only be used once as an item. Think well before using one. Well, I'm not going to think well, I'm just going to use it and see what happens. should probably read a bit more of the item descriptions. Headband reserved for the Badlands Bravest, proof that the wearer has slaughtered countless foes. Following the example of the chieftain Aura Lu, the Brave, warriors of the Badlands shun excess adornment. I butchered that sentence, but there we go. Yeah, that's just the same. Common wear in the Badlands. Oh. Oh, so this is just the tutorial messages, basically. Okay. And I've read all them. Let's read the fruit. Very like red fruits that grow in shrubs, a material used for crafting items. Easily found everywhere in the lands between. It has a wide variety of uses. Cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished furled fingers to write a gold summon sign. Okay. Can I not use this? No, because that's an elevator and it's already there. Right, so let's go back and use our item on here. That looks poisonous. Yep, I am not going that way. Goodbye. I'll come back to you another day. Unless I can drain the poison somehow. I guess we're going down the lift or up. We're going up. I forgot how to... There we 
go. Oh wow. Limgrave. Well this is it. We're free. We're out in the open world. I don't even know where to begin. Let's begin by picking this up. Hello. Oh. I'm going to get so lost in this game. There's an island over there. I'm guessing I can get to it. Can I swim? Lots of questions to be answered. I'm just going to pick up all the fruit I can. I don't know how useful it's going to be. In each area you, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Okay, small golden effigy. Right, so I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. I want to be running away from that big guy on a horse. Or do I want to fight him? I mean, there's no harm in fighting him, I suppose. I mean, let's be honest, there's going to be a lot of harm. Look at him. He's going to just destroy me. Well, we could be friends. Earthly flower. He doesn't seem like the type of guy that's going to be friendly, though. No, he's not friendly. He's a boss. Tree sensing up. Okay, sir. I do no damage to you. I don't think I'm supposed to be fighting you. Ah, that hurt. So did that. Oh god. Yeah. I have no chance here. Nope. Okay. Well, I won't be returning to fight you. When your death gauge is full, you will be st struck with instant death. Okay, it's gone. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming these runes, they will be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of lost runes. Should have gone into the poison. Right, so let's go and retrieve the runes. And I need to learn to press a different button. Muscle memory. path ahead. Mm. 
Right, so I definitely don't want to be fighting that guy again. That's for sure. But I do want to get my runes back. I don't know how easy that's going to be. Well, he's heading up that way now, so it should be okay. Oh, all the materials respawn. Oh, I don't actually want to use that, though. I think I just activated it, which is fine. Oh, he's coming back. I'm not fighting him again. Not a chance. Whoa! What are you doing? The goats can roll. Oh, the sheep. Room fragment. So I don't think I've got anything for killing the sheep. The sheep's roll. That's weird, but cool. Three lost runes. And pretend that guy doesn't exist. Just gonna explore around the area I came from. Oh, what's that? That is a skull with glowing eyes that I can kick about. Golden rune. Okay, what's a golden rune? Stone fragment found near places where runes have fallen from the sky. Can be used for crafting or simply for throwing at enemies. These shards of stone are believed to have once been part of a temple in the sky. They glow with a faint light from within. Wait, so what did I just pick up? Oh, there, golden rune. Grace that dwells within the inhabitants of the lands between. The lingering trace of gold. Used to gain a small number of runes. Okay. So it's blood echoes. Or soul of the last undead. Runes are nourishment for the development of any tarnished, provided a finger maiden can be found. Okay. So I need to find a finger maiden to level up. Okay, there's some big birds. And there's so many places to go and I just have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Hello. I'm good to kill you. It's only a little squirrel, but thin bees bones. Right, so yeah, it's going to be a little slow, this, because I'm going to be reading things. And also, I have no idea where to go. Thin hard beast bones, material used for crafting items found by hunting beasts, commonly used to make disposable weapons. Interesting. Right, so is there anything on the compass? No, there's not. So, no help, basically. Go out there and find your own way. Well, I guess... Oh, there's another skull here. I guess I need... to pick a path and go for it.
Let's go left. We'll go west. Or should I go back to the poison? So many options. The thing is, I have nothing to cure poison. So that's probably just going to lead to death. Can I get in here? I don't think so. The scary thing is that I might actually have to fight that guy on the horse. Like, that may, might be what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, I don't like the sound of that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the poison area. I don't know if it's a good idea, it's probably not, but it seems like a better idea than fighting him. I feel like I might have missed something now as well. Probably haven't, it's just, just because I, I'm not sure what I should be doing. Oh, there's somebody here. I'm an idiot. How did I miss that? Grace exists to guide the tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power, and the golden rays will guide you along your way. Ah. So I do need to go past that guy. Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments and stells along the road. You can also use a map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Hello there. Oh yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless, without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me. Vare, take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays, pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Indeed, Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you if you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. It's time you set off to Castle if you Okay. So, I want to get to the castle. 
the castle is up past the guy on the horse. Although we could go around that way. And he, he's saying I'm maidenless. Where's, where's my maiden? I want a maiden. I'm still going to go back to the poison. But at least now, I actually know the way I'm supposed to be going. But yeah, I'm going to just go back and check the poison area out. Because I might actually find some poison resistant stuff down there. Yeah, I can't believe I missed that guy. I was too busy looking around at the scenery. And I just completely ignored what was in front of me. There's a sword there. Can I not pick that up? Right, well, here comes inevitable death. That's just a message. I thought it was an item. Oh, I can actually make it. No! Oh, God. Oh, my God. The executioner's chariot is back. Right, I'm going back. I can make it across there, I know that, without being poisoned. Hold up, and I want to find out if there's a way I can avoid the chariot. I wasn't expecting that. So, uh, also, I want to check if I can uh, warp between vampires. So let's rest here. And it's not a vampire, it's a sight of grace. And it doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, maybe I can, and I've just not discovered how yet. I just want to make sure I've not missed anything here, but I don't think I have. I explored down there. I spoke to that guy. I have missed something because there's an item up there. I have no idea how to get it. Yeah, I can't climb up. I don't know how to get it. I'm just going to have to leave it. Right, let's try this again. Rum, rum, rum. Okay, it doesn't come all the way. Oh, okay. Through the wall. God damn it. I can see... Oh, that guy looks cool. I can see a lot of deaths to this guy. Oh god. No, no, no.
Eisenbaum da. Okay, I don't think I'll survive if I jump down that far. Let's just take this slowly. Who are you? Oh, yep, you're a bad guy. Oh no. Goodbye. Oh no. Nope. Get backstabbed. Right, so I might actually be able to jump down there now, but I'm not going to attempt it. Right, let's wait. Oh, we killed somebody. Let's wait for him to go back up. And here we go. Oh no. Of course he follows me. Oh god, he doesn't go very far either. If he comes all the way now, I'm going to be so annoyed. Yep, he's coming down. Oh, this is going to be risky. I feel like I shouldn't stop for that item. He's coming. Oh my god. Okay. I have no idea how to do that. It's going to be annoying train again though. I can't help myself. Right. Here he comes. Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. Well, that didn't pop up before. Unless it did, and I just missed it. No, don't kick. So I'm going to do something stupid and see if I take fall damage. Nope, okay. I can hear him. Oh, he's not here yet. This is my chance. Can't help myself. Golden rune. Right, so you don't stop to pick up items. You can just pick them up on the go. That's... Nice. Oh. oh. There's so many. Well, there's two different paths to go. I don't know which way to go. I'm going to go down. Oh, my God. Okay. I've got some tricks. Oh, no. No. Calm down. These guys have got lots of tricks. Oh no. Okay. I'm out of heels. Right, I think I need to be more aggressive. 
That's some nice moves, though. Grave glove wart. Oh no. I think I've gone the wrong way. I'm going to die. Oh, I'm definitely going to die. Maybe not. Is he coming down? Oh, okay. He wasn't coming down. Okay. Lots of death. Which isn't really a surprise. I always do badly in New Souls games. I'm going to attempt this again. This might be the last time I attempt it. Because I'm struggling. But at least I know I can jump down. And also, it doesn't follow me all the way. I'm dead. Nope. Okay, nice. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Crossbow. So I think I'm safe to just now run all the way down. I'm not going to go up this time. Check every corner. Oh god. Oh! Oh, I don't like that attack. your friends. I'm gonna kill you as well. Goodbye, sir. How many more friends have you got up here, though? Oh, God. Who are you? Can we be friends? We're not friends. We are not friends. And I do no damage. Oh my god, that is so much damage. I'm stuck. Get out of the corner. Ooh. Oh, that was a bad roll. I've no heals left. Concentration mode at the minute. No, I'm not. God damn it. Oh, Mr. Chariot's back as well. 